This is the dive deck. We're right next to the stack, so it's a little bit loud, but uh, it's a great place to work. Ordinarily, there's a, a Zodiac that lives right where we're standing. That Zodiac is the ROV Zodiac, and it carries this console. This has the generator and the operator's console where we put the monitor and the uh, joystick control panel for the ROV. So that sits in the Zodiac, and I sit in that. Okay, we're down to 40 meters now, and right over here, is the ROV itself. She's, as you can see, just about three feet long, weighs about 100 pounds, so two people can easily pick her up and put her in the water manually. She's sitting on top of her cable. We have three sections of cable totaling about 900 feet, and she can go down to 500 feet, so about three times, at least three times deeper than it's safe for scuba divers to go on regular air. The cable carries commands from a console which has joysticks and toggle switches. You maneuver the camera, you maneuver these thrusters. There are five individual thrusters on the machine so she can move up, down, sideways, turn in place, just about anything you want her to do. The camera is slung there on the front and the cable carries all the signals down and then carries the video signal back to the Zodiac where we record it. My favorite piece of technology is the ROV no doubt, because it, it increases our ability to sense the marine world so dramatically. I really enjoy diving with the handheld camera and uh, sharing that kind of footage with the guests, but the ROV takes me into a world, takes the whole ship, everyone on board, into a world that is really outside of human experience for all but a very few people. It, uh, is a world that's very, very little explored. It's kind of a cliche that the ocean is almost less known than the moon is, but it's very true. And to have this technology on board, to be able to, on a daily basis, look into the greater depths of the sea is a fantastic opportunity.